How's it everybody? Let's take a look at this little question uh, in the economic geography of South Africa. So regulating trading in the informal sector. Uh, please feel free to just pause the video uh, and have a good read through on your own. I like to make the videos as short and as sweet as possible. Yeah, as you guys know. So 2.5.1, uh, according to the extract, what is the percentage of informal trading that takes place in Johannesburg? Um, it's actually 30% that is coming from the extract. Quote, evidence from the extract why trading has been restricted in Johannesburg at night. Um, so 2.5.2, um, I mean, I mean, look, this is a self-explanatory answer. It's definitely going to be crime, but we have to get it from the source. So exposes them to criminal activity. It's right there. 2.5.3, according to the graph, which is the busiest time period for trading in the informal sector, that's 2.5.3. Um, look carefully. It's going to be 4 to 6 p.m. Okay, typically when people are done with work and they need to go off and buy things for their house, for their posy. I don't know. Do you guys know what that means? I don't know. Is that like just Durban, Joburg slang? Okay, if you're not from like these these two provinces, yeah? Case in thing. Do you know what a posy is? We're, we're, we're parking in the posy. Like, I, I don't know. So just some nice some nice slang for you guys. Uh, 2.5.4 suggests two reasons for the rapid growth of the informal sector in the city of Johannesburg. So suggest two reasons. Okay. Um, well, firstly, there's a high unemployment rate. So people have to turn to the informal sector. So unemployment has zooped straight up. Uh, and well, you can't really work with 25 rand an hour in South Africa. I mean, you can, but it's, it's not enough to live. So low paying jobs. So people have to turn to side hustles and imagine the government wants people to live on 350 a month. Yo, Okay. Um, also increases in urban population, lack of skills in education and economic recession, increase in poverty, anything along those lines. And 2.5.5 uh, in a paragraph of approximately eight lines. Okay. Eight lines. So, you know, these eight liners, we have to give four distinct and succinct points and well explain them as well. So let me just go all the way. Explain measures that the municipality can put in place to assist traders in the informal sector to operate under more favorable conditions. Well, you can, well, they can simply regulate the informal sector and allocate space near markets, um, also provide them with stalls, give them access to storage facilities and just access to like more basic services access to financial assistance, providing skills training, creating partnerships, effective policing, public awareness, like the list goes on. But so far we've gone with uh, regulating informal sector, allocating space near markets. Let's go with just simply access to basic services. Okay, like all, if you think of like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, just that base, you know, like food, water, electricity, all of that stuff, you know, some basic human rights actually um, access to perhaps financial assistance as well um and also like just just skills development right like we want skills development we want skills training this this is like a get out of jail free card for most of these questions right so yeah so these are your points all you need to do is substantiate them put them in context and yeah that uh, that's about it nice little video here for you guys uh not too long and yeah that should be economic geography hashtag four so there are Four videos here. Please have a good look at all four of them. Um, and yeah, that, it's not going to be enough prep for your exam, but it's some nice exam type questions, if I could put it like that, because I've only taken, like, I only do part in like November past paper questions in these videos. So yeah, like this is ultimately what your final paper should look like. You're most likely writing tomorrow. If you're watching this in the morning, you're writing today. Maybe you're just here for the ride in 2026 and 2027. This is more or less what your paper is going to look like. Ciao. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye.